This is Eden Golan. She's going to be representing Israel at this year's Eurovision Song Contest, despite boycott calls. Baby, just heard was part of Golan's song, Hurricane. It was modified from her original Eurovision entry, October Rain. We all came to one beautiful song that we're all very hot, happy and that will represent our country with pride. October Rain had lyrics like, and I promise you that never again, I'm still wet from this October rain. Some people, including Eurovision organizers, thought it referenced the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel. Others have called to exclude Israel from the competition entirely over the ongoing war in Gaza. It wouldn't be the first time a country's been banned from the contest. We'll unpack that in a bit. Firstly, Eurovision bills itself as a non-political event. Israel's public broadcaster, who's in charge of picking the country's representative, changed October Rain after it was told the song was too political. That didn't stop calls for Israel to be banned from this year's contest. Thousands of people from Sweden, Iceland, Finland, and Ireland have signed petitions and open letters. This year's competition is being held in Malmo, Sweden. Local media there reported that the Eurovision sign was vandalized with red paint and a free Gaza slogan. And the Palestinian-led movement Boycott, Divest, and Sanction is asking people not to watch the contest. Now, countries have been kicked out before. It happened to Russia in 2022 after it invaded Ukraine. Critics say it's a double standard for Israel to be allowed to compete when Russia wasn't. The European Broadcasting Union runs Eurovision, and it said this in a statement. Comparisons between wars and conflicts are complex and difficult, and as a non-political media organization, not ours to make. We reached out to Israel's public broadcaster to ask them about the boycott calls, but they said in an email they have no comment. So how does Eurovision decide when to exclude a country? In the past, countries have been banned from Eurovision because there have been international sanctions against them. The same applies to Russia after its invasion of Ukraine. Russia wasn't kicked out of Eurovision until after it had international sanctions against it, which Israel doesn't. Vuletic said defining Eurovision as non-political allows organizers to choose what makes it into the contest, almost like a control mechanism. The rights of sexual minorities, European integration, these are considered good politics by the organizers of Eurovision. But then, of course, we have bad politics, the type of politics that offends, the type of politics that reflects some sort of conflict between countries. In the end, this is a contest between countries. And whenever we have countries competing against each other, things are going to get political. 